I'm not even sure if I want to do this. We have no choice, man. Like, what else is there to do? You gonna pay that gas money? Do you want an E on this internal? What is litter? Google defines litter to be rubbish such as paper, cans, and bottles left lying in an open or public place. And it seems to be a big problem in Westlake Boys High School. What do you think causes littering in school? Uh, I think littering is like a real dickish thing to do, but it's also human nature to like the thrill of getting away with someone. Uh, I, I think there's an excess of plastic that we use uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. That's why I've completely avoided it at all costs. Um, I, I think there's just, you know, chip packets, everything's wrapped in plastic, and then that plastic's wrapped in another layer of plastic, and I, I just don't vibe with that. I'd probably say the homeless people that um, come around during the night when students aren't here. I think just like generally year nines, most people relate to littering to the act of unbridled laziness. However, Ali McKessick thinks differently with his litter theory. Is there like a doorbell or something? No. No, it's just, just, is there just no one home? Probably the wrong house. Hey, go around the back! The back, what? You guys, go. I'm glad you guys came. I'm glad you guys came. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. <laughs> now, if you weren't aware, earlier this year, an Instagram account surfaced with the handle at the litter theory, with numerous wild claims and speculations about how the litter in the school was placed on purpose, and it's run by no other than Ollie. Turn, turn around. Pantry. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I thought there'd be water in here. Okay. So what do you think of the litter theory? Oh, all these litter theory. I've read about it. Uh, Frank, I don't really agree with it too much. Um, some people are speculating it might be Mr. Ferguson or Mr. Gordon. Uh, because he likes holding us in. I think if it's true, it's, an, it's a really awesome theory. But the guy who made it is... He's a bit wacko. I, uh, I think it's okay, isn't it, right? Yeah, it's okay. Other than that, I think Ollie's a really, 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 he's a weird guy, like, honestly, he's just... He's pretty weird. Possible. I, I told you, it was birds. If birds are government surveillance drones, then they also cause litter. Think about it. It's birds. I would believe it, um, if it wasn't perpetuated by Ollie McKessick. I, I, I don't trust that guy. I, 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 Crackhead vibes from that guy. I, I think he, he's completely correct, except for the fact that it's him saying it. I, I just can't believe a word that comes out of that guy's mouth. Um, but I do believe in the litter theory. I, I do think litter is real. So, what is the litter theory? <laughs> well, buckle your seats and grab your popcorn, boys. This is about to get wild. So, the litter theory. This is my theory where I think that all the rubbish placed around the school, chip packets, cans, noodle bowls, Bowl noodle. noodle bowls are put there not by accident, but on purpose. I think that there is one individual or individuals who purposely placing the rubbish around the school. Why do you think they do it? <laughs> Two words, Roland. A silent protest. That's three words. What? That's, that's three words. 
A silent protest. A doesn't count. No, it does. <laughs> no, the A doesn't count because you take away the A. It's like the. You don't count the in a movie title. That's why they don't put capital T's on the the's in movie titles. So you know, you don't go the amazing Spider-Man. You don't capitalize. So basically, the students are constructing a silent protest in order for the government to realize a few problems that they have. Now, I have a few ideas on what these problems might be. As you have seen from our interviews and footage, Ollie was quite, as some people would put it, wacko. He does a lot of weird things in his spare time. See this? People think it's just an ordinary toy, but really, think about it. Think about it. James, put that on your face now. So, let's see if that turned out a little better than that. James disappears because he did a crime of some sorts. I have a mold of his face. But... Ah. Okay. And honestly, he was quite difficult to work with. Especially when some of his theories were a bit too far-fetched. Now I have three possibilities on what these three problems could be. Number one. I think the students find there is a lack of bins around the school. They're placing rubbish in order to get more bins, as the school would have to buy more bins to put all the rubbish in. And theory two. Now, this one could be a bit of a stretch, but I think that the students want access to Area 51. You gain access to Area 51, the most secretive place on Earth, most likely. Now, if you were like me and James, you would have stopped listening by now. But his third theory surprised us. I'm in a building, and best of all, yeah, okay. you can find out how no, pinkies no. are made. No, it's fine. Just, what's number three? Pinkies. <laughs> number three. I think there is a group or an individual that wants to ruin the reputation of the school and ruin the school's image. Think about it. People come to school, they see this rubbish all around the school. You're not going to have a great idea of what the school's about. They're going to think, oh, they don't care about rubbish, right? Image ruined. Now, I don't know about that one. It does, it just doesn't seem very likely. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty good. Like, that's like a really like valid... I think it's the most viable one. Yeah, that's... that's really? That's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Like, and now that we got the motive out of the way, only one question remains. Who would purposefully litter around the school? Right, now, for this, I have three suspects. One, first, goes by the name of Andre Cruz. Three. Can, can I play? Can, can I play? Can I play it? Oh, All right, no, let me try again. No. So what do you think about Andre Cruz? Oh, what isn't there to think of? He's such a great guy. Bro, I love that guy. Yeah, <laughs> Andre Cruz, I mean, I'm, like, I'm straight, but, you know. When I was about three years old, he potty trained me. Like, Andre, Andre? Andre the man Cruz? Oh, dude, I love him. And his parties? Oh, his parties. You wouldn't see that only guy at his parties, you know? Just, just a comparison of... Andre, Ollie, right there. Andre Cruz, he's a prefect at Westlake Boys High School. Now you think, prefect? What is that? Like, what is that? Everybody knows what that is. Why would he do it as a prefect? Because it's the perfect cover. Think about it. No one wants to su suspect him. He's the man walking around with the scabs at lunch trying to pick up rubbish. And another thing about Andre, he's always going to the protests. I mean, he was at the climate change protests, he was at the water is wet protests, he's at all of them. Hi, I'm Andre Cruz. I'm a prefect at Westlake Boys High School. So, are you aware of the litter theory? Yeah, um, it's, it's kind of crazy, but like, the litter guy. I support anything that he's doing, you know. I'm just all for like supporting anyone what they want to do, if they want to do it. So, you support the litter then? No, I, I support anyone who wants to go out there and do their own thing. But like, the way he's doing it, I don't really 
think that's good because it's really hurting the school's reputation, you know? Um, the guy who made this theory, Ollie, Ollie was Ollie it? McKessick, yeah. Yeah, it's, he's a little weird, don't you think? Um, it's kind of, I see him at, uh, at the back of class sometimes just playing with a, what is that, a safety knife? Why is he playing with that? Why does he have that at school? Oh, I don't know, but like sometimes I, I, I go up to him or something and give him like a high five, you know? But like when I do go up to him and try to give him a high five, he just runs away. It's kind of strange. But love him, love him, definitely do. Suspect number two, Manic Siri. Now, this guy, he's a bit of a dick, not gonna lie. So what do you think about Manic Siri? <laughs> Bro, the chair poop guy? Manic Suri? More like Manic Stinky. I won't bring up any ethnicities, but I just say he speaks for himself. I'm, uh, I'm not racist, but I ain't colorblind. Um, honestly, I hate him. Like, o Oli, Oli's hateable. Everyone like, oh, hate Oli, but Manic, Manic's on a different level. He, um, he, he likes to play pranks on people because he has this, um, what do the kids call it? Channel? YouTube channel? Yeah, YouTube. Oh yeah, I've seen that. It's called Manic Swaggy. Hey, what's up squad fam? It's your boy Manic Swaggy. Today is gonna be a different plan. Ooh. Today, the prank is, I am going to, wait for it, shit on the headmaster's chair. This could be a popularity thing for him. He could use it to get more attention on, on himself because he loves attention. Just look at his any of his videos and he's just always trying to get attention. Wait up. <laughs> so man, what do you think of the litter theory? Manic, stop looking at the camera for a second. No, man, no, stop. Just answer the question please and just look at me. What was the question? This theory, it's, um, it's indeed fascinating. It's, it, the, the trickery that comes with this, um, with this theory is just, it's mind boggling It's uh, mesmerizing. It's, it's terrifying. It's scary. It's, it's heartbreaking. So do you think it uh, impacts the school in a negative way? Indeed. Indeed it does. But there's people out there who like to litter. I, for one, don't say any names who litter. I just watch them and clap. Clap in humiliation. Are you saying that you let people litter and you don't do anything about it? Yes. Oh, oh my God. For some reason, Ollie didn't want to tell us his third suspect until two days later. Yeah, so suspect number three. So, ah. Colby was... Now, Colby has an interesting case with Ollie. They used to be friends, and now Ollie suddenly pinned him as the litterer, which is a serious accusation. I used to know Colby really well. He's great friends, but the, he just seemed to change, and he went over there. That side. Well... No one really knows what he does now, and that just makes him suspicious because I know Colby, and this is the sort of thing he'd do. You know, scheme and plot, and I just know it. Well, like, can you give me some examples of him doing this? Trust me. Trust me. All these reasonings for pinning Colby as a suspect were fallible, which made me start to doubt his intentions in having Colby connected to the case. So, I decided to dig deeper when asking Colby some questions. So are you aware of the litter theory? Um, yeah, um, I, I think it's a bit weird, you know, it's kind of ra random. There's some people who, who litter, I mean, c come on man, really? Is it true that you were close friends with the person who made the theory, conceived the theory? Con conceived? <laughs> yeah, no, um, o Ollie and I were friends, you know, I mean, I mean, he's happy now. I I'm glad he's happy now, he's, he's, he's motivated to say the least. Uh, so why do you think that? 
oh, <laughs> you know, um, Ollie, Ollie has kind of been shaped into other people. He's not really been himself, but lately he's transformed into himself, if that makes sense. He's, he's true to himself. So if you don't mind me asking, why did you two split apart? You know, you know the old saying, um, it, it's me, not you. But we weren't in a relationship, it's just like, I just met other people and <laughs> they didn't like him. They, they honestly thought he was a psychopath. To be honest, I agree. And besides, there's one fact about Colby that everyone knows about that automatically removes him from the suspect list. Is it true that you're afraid of litter? Yes. A major factor to Ollie's theory are his key dates. According to him, there was a high amount of litter during June 17, 2019, and he speculates that the litter did the act at least three hours before school went on. Where were you at June 17, 2019 at 5.30 a.m.? Uh, I wasn't at school. So where were you then? <laughs> Don't mean to brag, but um, I was actually at the primary school down the road giving um, food away to the underprivileged kids. Wait, so were you giving the food to the students in the primary school or the underprivileged children? See, the kids at the primary school are the underprivileged kids. Do you have any proof of you being I, I got some pictures. Andre's alibi checked out, and the photo he showed us was definitely legit. Do you mind telling us where you were June 17th, 2019 at 5.30am? You see, James, if I tell you, what will I get from it? Nothing, really. Why? Do you have something to hide? Now, now, James, Manic Suri has nothing to hide. I thought your last name was Singh. Manic Singh has nothing to hide. So do you mind telling us where you were at June 17, 2019? I cannot give you that information. Why not? Because I cannot. So you do have something to hide. No, no, James. Manic Suri has nothing to hide. Sing. Manic Singh has nothing to hide. Manic gave us no answers whatsoever, which leads us to questioning one last person. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, where were you on June 17, 2019 at 5.30 a.m.? <laughs> Who's awake at that time? 5.30? No. I didn't think of that. I mean, are you awake at that time? No. Not the fetch, we're done here. Look, bitch, the freaking. We're done. Cut. We're done. So we went back to Ollie's place and gave ourselves a summary of what we've got about the suspects so far. Andre Cruz. He could have been potentially the litterer because of his love of protesting, but he gave us a solid alibi. Colby Wilson. Whatever reasonings Ollie gave him, he still gave us a decent alibi. Which leaves us to one person. Manic Suri. Or, or Singh. I, I, I actually don't know at this point. James! Well, Barry, anyway. Y yep, I reckon we can do it. We just need more evidence on Manic. And how do we get evidence? Like, do we ask him, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we try to... Um, we stalk him. No, 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 we're not option. We're not. So, um, yeah, yeah, there, there is. That's, um, that is, that, that's Mar Manic Suri, my suspect number two. I'd be lying if I said I didn't start to doubt Ollie at this point. The more we follow Manic, the more I realize how stupid this all was. He went down this way. Oh my god. Where is he going? I don't understand. Oh, I've got an idea. He could be going to buy more trash for 
the school. <laughs> I am lost for words. <laughs> Ollie. Five minutes. We've been here five minutes. I don't think it's him. Nothing. I don't it think is. it's him. It's him. Who else would be doing um whatever he's doing? It's, it's gotta be him. It's gotta be. I mean, you, you saw him, James. I don't think it's him. Dude, we, we literally followed him all day. It's not him. It's not him. He's, what, has be, what has he been doing I the mean, whole day? He, he, um, he um, walked. But an absurd amount. He went to Macca's though. Put it in the bin. He put his litter put in, the his in the bin. But it's because he's not protesting against Macca's, is he? He's doing it against the school. It's not. We should just go home. No. Ollie, you know it's what? not him. You know I'm done. Leave. I'm done. I'm going for this. No, I'm Ollie. Done. Ollie. Are you? Did you do it, Manic? Did you do it? Yes. Told you, ha! Confession. Yes, ha! <laughs> Go on then. Tell them all. Tell the world. Back in 700 ABC. <laughs> what? No. 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 The no, Titanic. No, the Titanic. The 200 ABC is in a year! The literary, you know, the, the letter theory, it was you! We interviewed you. For what you? The letter theory. The literary. Huh? I was, I was sure. I was sure. The, li the literary who puts litter out oh, of the school! I'm done! This oh! Is, oh! I'm done with this! Only, how are you getting home? Oh, I'm sick of it! Sick and tired! Did what I say something you? wrong? What? The Titanic? ABC. Listen, Ollie, what you did on Sunday, you, j you just can't assault anyone because of your theory, alright? That was like irresponsible, that was stupid. We could have <laughs> we could have been sent to the dean for that. I mean, Manic could have called the cops because we were stalking him beforehand. It, well, I thought I was right. Well, you weren't, alright? Not all of us can be right all the time. It, I'm always wrong, though. I just want to be right for once. Uh, listen, if it makes you feel any better, we can't even use a documentary anymore. What? Like, uh, your theory doesn't line up. It, it doesn't make sense, so we have to either fail this or make a new one. So, you know, you're not the only one that wasted their time. <laughs> wasted? Wasted my time? This is the most fun I've had in a long time. You had fun? Well, yeah, because I was finally a part of something. This theory was, was all... It was all I had, you know? You don't, you don't think I hear you guys? You don't, you don't think I hear everyone? You know, oh, there's Ollie the freak. Oh, it's Ollie that weirdo guy. That's everyone else. I don't say that. Oh, I know you think it. And to think that I finally had friends that I thought I was friends with you two. Just leave me alone. Go find another person to be your lab rat. He never touched the floor. Got it. So I never felt those calls. It's alright. But what does this theory make you feel? But he didn't know. How would this experience of creating this whole page affect Oh, I mean, like, I, I don't know. It's it's, right. it's exciting. I've I've never been anything that I've chosen before. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, I I've always been, I guess, labeled as weird or different from other people and people always made fun of me because I always talked a lot about my pens or just walked funny but um yeah it's 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 nice 
It's nice to know that I'm something that I've chosen. It's yeah. like that we have to delete all this footage, man. Yeah, that's a fat L. You okay with um, losing the credits? I don't know, man. Let's just salvage what we got. After three months of filming and interviewing, me and James weren't quite ready to say goodbye to this project yet. And thank goodness we didn't. Pause, 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 pause. Pause that, pause that. Go back, go back a little. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to call, you have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call. Holly? Yeah, we found your litter. Yo, was this a reaction video? No. Oh. Yeah, take a seat. Okay. Hey man, um, if this is about the litter thing, I literally don't know anything about it. No, no, we just wanted to film an update because we found out that the theory was wrong. Oh. Uh, that's... that's I, I've got no words. Man, that Ollie guy must be sad. He was getting a lot of clout for what he was talking about. I feel bad for him, honestly. Andre, what do you think about the system at the school? What? In the post-litter theory era, we just wanted to see if the students think this whole thing was a wake-up call. I mean, I do think it'd be something to be, like learn from. If a student can make up, like, a theory that can stem from the school, like, that's being unfair or unjust, then whatever Ollie must be feeling, he needs to get that out. Has there been any instance in your time here at the school where you felt like you were being treated unfairly? I... Andre, would you please look at the footage we have on the laptop here? That dude gives like weird vibes. I saw him... <laughs> I saw him put his finger up his ass one time. That was just not a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Andre Cruz? Like Andre Andre? Andre the man Cruz? Oh dude, I love him. He's so, so funny and he's, he appreciates the school and everything that we do and... Well, because I fixed it. Because I adjusted it. I have any wires. By myself. It's a wireless camera. You don't know that. You've been playing RuneScape. Okay. Okay, listen. James. Alright. There's been like... Has there been any instance in your time here at the school where you felt like you were being treated unfairly? You know, they put labels on you. You could have one thing or you just try to be your best, to be a good guy, and then suddenly you're that one cool guy everybody knows. And, and, and that pressure, that, that pressure that builds up, the school rides on it. I didn't want to be a prefect. I, but the school wanted me to be one. You made your choice. You agreed to be a prefect. It's because everyone expects me to be. My parents, my friends, the school. So if they put a label on me, I put a label on what the school deserves. Trash. What do we say to him? We tell him that he was right and we were wrong. Is that it though? I feel like we should have given him like a chance to catch the culprit at least. He wasn't answering our calls. We had to just do it. We couldn't wait for him. Me and James have learned something at this point, and I hope you have too. We put labels on everyone. We push them aside like litter, and recycle them into something they're not. Sometimes, we try to shape ourselves for other people to like us. Sometimes we forget who we really are at points, but then, rarely, we get reminded of what we were, and we're given a chance to become us again. We're all garbage. 
to other people, to ourselves. So we should all pick up some litter every once in a while and put it where it belongs. Listen, before you say anything, we're sorry. All right? The, the litter theater was right. You're a genius. You, you... What do you want? Do you want an interview? I'll, I'll show no, you. No, we, we just wanted to hang out. Is that a yes? Mm. Cool, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Oh, cool. Yeah, I want eggs.